Please note that before we get into this video, the things that you'll need is two gallons of coolant of your choice, my choice is engine ice. You will need two gallons of distilled water. You do not want to use regular water, spring or purified. You don't want to use any of that. You need a drip pan. I definitely prefer the five gallon drip pans just so that way when you do drain your system, all of that excess can go in there without you having to switch out the drip pans. And you'll also need a funnel. Now, the way I place my funnel is directly in front of the brake and let it push on my brake so that way it was a convenient flow for me. Maintenance is something you definitely have to keep up. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a coolant flush as well as change on a 2014 Kawasaki ZX-10. Without further ado, let's just jump in it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take off both sides of my fairing, and I'm gonna use a drill with a 532 right here. And you may need to use Allen keys just in case you have some of those um, nuts that's just too tight in there. So let's get to it. All right, so we got all the screws out and one thing I like to have is one of these magnetic cups. This is um, a four inch and I like to keep this just because and you don't lose any screws. And just remember what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. I'll go ahead and start this side. All right, y'all, so y'all can see that close, this one. One thing to note is that you'll need a star bit for that one, if you have it. And then it'll pop right on out of there. At this point, um, take this out, as well as the one up under, and both fairings should come off. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you'll have your breathing tube. And literally right up under your breathing tube, you'll have, have an eight millimeter nut. And you want to loosen that. This is where your coolant will come out of. And you want to get it to the point where you can twist it with your finger. And now if this bike has pressure built up, it's gonna splurge out. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go over to your cap, which Again, mine is right here. And you wanna loosen it up. And it should start uh, coming out. As y'all can see, mine was super low, but it's still draining itself. Once you get like a good well, emptiness from this, what you want to do is get that screw and button it back. Still got some dripping down. But yeah, get this screw, button it back, and then that's when your cleaning process will take place. Alright, so it's smart to have two drip pans, but you don't necessarily need it. If you want to avoid accidents, then cool, because the more you take the radiator cap off, the further this will shoot out. The next thing you want to do is get your funnel, put it inside the radiator cap, and grab your distilled water. You take your distilled water, and you want to pour it in there. I'm using the entire gallon of distilled water. I'm gonna let that empty itself through. Once that's done doing this thing, I'm gonna button it right back up. But I'm only gonna hand tighten it 
do is start filling this bad boy up with some engine ice. From this point on is since the cap is back on, we're gonna open up the second gallon of distilled water. We're gonna fill this up with water. So I can flush out one more time. All I did was take this little tube off from this side, letting this drain as much as possible, loosening this back up, redraining it. Then I'm gonna tighten it, not too tight. All right, so if you're wondering how I got to the end of this video, which shows that the engine and ice is there. So what I use is one full gallon of coolant and then a half gallon. So you'll have half of a gallon of coolant left, if that makes sense. And what you do is basically you look into, you look down that radiator um, filling, and you'll be able to tell if you need to continue to fill it up or if you need to just stop. And if you don't feel comfortable enough, then just stop, let it run through the system until the fan kicks in. If the fan kicks in, that's how you know, like, you've done it right. Now, just be mindful that if you did not put enough coolant in there, then once it sits, that uh, reservoir will be empty. But don't panic, just open up that radiator cap, look back down there. if you see it, you're good. It's always good to have extra though. So where it says low and full, I'll keep mine in the middle. Um, I did fill it up just a little bit more. And another thing that you need to do is just make sure you're burping the system. So if you're not sure if you have enough, just run a bike without the cap on top. So that way it can drain and just run through itself. I hope that didn't confuse you. If you have any further questions or need any further guidance, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or just shoot me an email. Of course, as always, until next time, guys.